What can you tell me about what's coming up in season two? It's the comic book come to life. It's finally the comic book that everybody read years ago and freaked out over. This is the comic book that, that finally tells the story from a low point of view. That here's a, here's a superhero who's lost his power, who's bitter because his Wonder Woman, his whoever, his retro girl, has died and now he's got some vengeance. So whereas season one was this real build up into this environment, this is the comic book brought to life and that's, that's incredibly exciting to be a part of it. And how about your character? THX is just all fun. You can just let, every, let, let your hair down and as an Asian American actor it's just exciting to play that. It's a pretty diverse cast. Is that something that yeah, also drew absolutely. you to the project? Absolutely, but I mean you, like you don't see many Asian American superheroes. You know, we had the kerfuffle with, with, with Marvel this year over Asian American superheroes. So to be given an opportunity to play an Asian American supervillain at least, who's who's crazy and off the wall, you know, I, that was just a dream come true. Which is better, to play a supervillain or a... Villains are always better. Villains are always better. We get better dialogue, we get to do better things. You know, I mean, every time a superhero goes bad, that's when it's really fun to watch. You know, super super villains are the best. So who's he gunning for, really, this season? THX? Who's THX? I'm, I'm going right for Charlotte Copley, and I'm going to get him right between the eyes. Yeah. And for people who aren't familiar with the show, because it's on a more limited platform, why should they, you know, binge watch season one and check out season two? They should binge watch season one because it gives them all of the background on where you're going. Eddie Izzard is off the wall. Trisha Helfer, you know, comes in late in the season. And Charlto really does a great job of finally bringing this character to life. You know, um, I mean, they made an interesting choice with Dina of the character. I mean, it was really, really neat to see how they brought the, car, the, the comic book to life. And I'm a huge fan of the comic book. I'm a geek from way back. So now in season two, we get to really, it's sort of like flipping page one of that original comic. I mean, Retro Girl's dead. So, I mean, this is the reason to come in. You, you, if you love Bendis, if you love his writing, if you love Jessica Jones, if you love what he's done there, then you're going to love this second season of Power.